Hey guys, I'm Jody with Board Game Perspective. So this video, we're going to be taking a look at the games we acquired in the month of July. Now, it's going to be a few games. I think we got about six or seven, eight, somewhere in there. And it's a mixture of games that we got ourselves or the publisher sent us to review. So it's a mixture of those. So let's just get right into it. So let's start with uh, Crack the Code from Indie Boards and Cards. This is a one to four player game where you've got like these, they're not marbles, they're more like rubbery, like bouncy balls. And I think you're, uh, it's a limited communication cooperative puzzle game. So uh, that's Crack the Code from Indie Boards and Cards. So stay tuned for a review on this one. Okay, let's move on. Oh, this is a beefy one, guys. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard this one recently, Merchant's Cove. So we actually uh, did not back this. Um, this so this is not uh, the Kickstarter that we received. Um, I got this from a local game store. Um, so uh, I will say I have played this a few times uh, solo and once multiplayer, and I'm liking it so far. Um, so stay tuned for a little bit more. But this is one that we inquired. Big hefty box. Had lots of fun assembling it because I'm weird and like to organize pieces and lots of organization happened in here. So uh, that, you know what? Well, I'll put it there. Okay, let's move on. Board and Dice sent us Mandala Stones and we're going to be putting out a review for this one soon. This is an abstract game. Two to four players, around 30 minutes. It's really pretty. I don't know, if, let's see if you can see. Uh, it has like these little mandala stones um, that are really awesome pieces. Uh, yeah, I, I thought about doing a show and tell for a second because I, I like components, but you know, I'll restrain myself. Um, but stay tuned because we'll be doing a review for this as well. Um, and I think Justin's gonna like this because he likes abstract games. I've, I've heard some good things about it already, so I'm excited. Okay. Now, let's look at this guy. This is a gorgeous game. I mean, <sighs> yes, this is one that I bought because <laughs> I just, guys, I mean, cute animals, beautiful art, it just, it just calls me. So um, I think we recently put an unboxing video of this up if you're wanting to see the inside and I show you the cards and the art is just incredible. Um, I just can't get over how beautiful it is. This is probably one of the prettiest games. I mean, Everdell is one of my, is like the prettiest game for me of like all time. Um, this is, this is up there guys. Like this is up there. Definitely want to check this one out. I haven't played it yet. Um, I'm super excited to try it, but um, stay tuned for this one. I'm, I'm like, I can't wait. Maybe, maybe I'll play it after this video. I just want to play it. Okay. Now let's look at Islands in the Mist. So uh, Stronghold Games sent us this to review. I have never heard of this game. Um, I don't know anything about it. Two to four players. It says around 60 minutes, but you know, it usually goes longer than that. Um, so let me, let me show you all the back of this. So it looks like you have um, a bunch of different tiles. This is like a hot air balloon game, apparently. It says, ride the wind, uncover the island. So it looks like maybe you'll be flying your hot air balloon around, doing stuff. You got like these little kingdom looking tiles, like castles or something. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm curious. I'm really curious about this game. I don't, I haven't heard anything about it. But higher balloons, wind, flying around? Sure, I'll try it. That's Islands in the Mist. Two more, guys, two more. All right, let me bend over for this one. This one, we've been waiting to arrive for a long time because we were sent the uh, two expansions for this game. Um, actually, I'll pull them out real quick. So we were sent the expansions a long time ago. Um, so the War Chest Siege expansion and a War Chest Nobility expansion. So um, 
we just haven't been able to try this out because we haven't had the base game. Uh, I can th think there were like shipping issues, you know, the whole shipping fiasco. Um, so the base game was held up for a while, um, but now we have it. So now we get to try it plus the expansions. And man, I, I, I think this might go in Justin's maybe top 10. I just had this feeling. I had this feeling because it's abstract, a little worry. He, see, he kind, of, kind of likes that. And you got those super nice, we're doing a little show and tell guys. I just, I, I, I can't help myself because these, these, these chips are just incredible. I mean, ah, and you got so many of them. Like this whole thing is just chips. And it's incredible. I just, yeah. So for the tactile experience, I'm excited. But I've heard this is a great abstract game. I'm excited. I know Justin's going to like it. I know I'm going to like it. We just got to play it. And then we'll try out the expansions as well. So last game is another space game. Uh, I like space games. So yeah, I got Rocket Men. Uh, this has been on my list for a little while. I've been waiting for it to come out. And it came out. And it's just one of those, kind of like with Meadow, how I like lots of critter, you know, critter pretty games. I'm a sucker for those games, and I'm a sucker for space games. I just, I don't know what it is. I, those are like my two favorite theming and games. I just love it. So I will always try like any animal game in any space game. I just love them. So I got Rocketman and um, I actually just played the solo mode of it a few days ago um, and I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I, I definitely wanted to try playing against some humans because <laughs> I'm not like the biggest solo person. Um, I have only played a handful of solo modes um, but I was desperate and eager to play it. Um, so. But I, I can't wait to play it with uh, fellow humans. But yeah, deck building, space, you're like trying to launch your, your or yeah, launch the rocket and go to Earth, uh, Earth, Mars, or the moon. Yeah. So um, stay tuned because I might be doing a review of this one as well. Because um, it's space game. I love space games. Okay, guys. So this was a pretty... Uh, Pretty good, good month. We got a, a handful oh, of games. So let me know in the comments below which of these are which of these are your favorite, or which if you if you've tried any of these yet, um, if you like some of them, uh, if you haven't, which one would you pick to to try first, or which one would you like us to review first? Because we're probably going to be reviewing. Probably we're going to be reviewing all of these and putting out content for all of them. So, yeah, I think so. So, um, yeah, so let us know in the comments below what you think. And that wraps it up for today, guys. So if you want to join along for, for more of these types of videos and you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and like this video. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching and happy gaming.